find it broken on this side. This is broken too, so this whole thing, hundreds, thousands of dollars. So as you saw in the intro, the Tesla Model Y has some body damage. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made my car go from this find it broken. to this. With the help of my friend. I had a few options to fix the car. One was go through my insurance and I go a little bit more in detail about it on the video. I, I will have to go through my insurance, make a claim and my deductible was $1,000. Option number two was to find aftermarket parts and option number three was to find used parts from a Model Y and fix it myself. As I was going through the car, I realized that the car had more damage than I first thought. Luckily, uh, 99% of this damage wasn't replaceable parts. The bumper was in perfect shape, except for a little part that you'll see in the video. So um, aftermarket parts were not an option just because my experience with aftermarket parts is that they don't have good fitment. And as far as getting OEM parts and installing them myself, I looked online and from what it seems, but let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, from what it seems, you cannot order parts for your Tesla and have them installed yourself. You have to go through the shop and that would have been a costly option. And option number three would have been to go with used parts. And the parts that I found on eBay were damaged as well. So what was the point of replacing damaged parts with other damaged parts? I'll show you what I did. At first it was it was supposed to be more like a quick fix because the car was rubbing on curves and like uh, speed bumps. So I just wanted to fix it uh, while I decided what to do. But then halfway through it, I realized that I could do a better job and maybe make this temporary fix more like a longer term uh, fix while I decide what to do. We need to put this here so that the car doesn't roll back. So it seems like I lost some clips from here, but I also find it broken on this side. So I know that some of the clips are missing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to buy clips for this. But this is broken. Where? Oh, that one's broken. Here you can see a little bit of the fur, poor animal. And I didn't believe my wife at first. So this liner, real well. Has to go as well. So hundreds, thousands of dollars. And we have to remove this four screws. I thought I was gonna replace it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie it with some zip ties for now and see how it goes because I don't wanna spend the deductible to fix this. So we're removing the screws. You have to remove the rest of the clips. This is not the right tool, but hey, this is the better tool. And I'm guessing the horn. And if I thought that I could drive this around without it, I guess I can't. So I'm gonna have to tie it together. Look, this is part of the actual bumper. It's broken. And the reason I have to take it off is because the spotlight is loose inside. So I have to tie it against the bumper. It's supposed to be flush like this. It's like this. So let me see if I can tie it in there. It's broken here. And then it's broken at the other end. Hola, comadre. And then it's broken also here. And then I'm also missing some clips. As far as the body, I can spot a little bit of damage right here. There is minimal. So technically, if I get this piece, I'll be fine. But I think I'm just gonna tie it up for now. And then wing it for a little bit, because I don't feel like spending money. But I gotta go back to this because it's still loose. And that's the whole reason why I take the whole thing down so that I can tie up this fog light. So apparently we also need, need to use like a mirror like this to get so that we don't have to remove this part, the inner liner, to be able to push the fog light forward and get it flush against this trim, the bumper cover. 
Um, but we're trying. And that's not me. That's my best friend George. You better remember him from my 1,000 mile video. He's the passenger in the car. Okay, we can take this off. We have to remove the top to the front trunk to get access to the top of the fog light so that we were able to push it forward to have it flush against the bumper cover that is on the other side. So if you ever wonder what a motor of the Tesla look like, this is it. And that looks just like a regular mobile battery. One of the disappointments that I ran into was that the actual uh, fog light assembly is just stuck with glue against the bumper so it's very flimsy so it came off. The top part of the fog light is only attached with glue, like with some black glue. Believe it or not we're going to stick it with buckro which is going to secure way better than it came from the factory because it's just glued. That's why it came undone so quick. The point is to get the velcro here and then here and then just stick it like this. I know it's not pretty, but it's gonna be it for now. A few zip ties, screws. I was feeling bad about the quality of my work, but then I remember how poorly put together these cars are. And I just don't feel so bad after all. I mean, I saved myself a few hundred dollars, maybe a couple of thousand dollars, I don't even know. But if I wanted to go through the insurance, then it would be on the record. And um, and if not, I would have to pay out of pocket. And I think it would have been in the maybe $1,500, $1,000 just for parts. And um, I did it myself. I think I should have taken off the whole bumper, but I just don't feel comfortable messing with this. So I just did a quick shortcut and um, we're almost done. help of my friend I was able to put it back together and it was a hassle because I realized that there was more damage than you could see uh, the inner liner for the wheel well was damaged uh, it was broken where the clips go so I would have had to change the whole thing plus this rubber piece that is kind of like a like a skid plate but it's made out of rubber and it was broken also where some of the clips go and all the clips are disposable so I had to would I would have to replace all the clips and uh, we're done let's go drink some cold ones so that was my experience fixing my Tesla Model Y. I did it with the help of my friend. I don't have the tools at home. I don't have a garage. So luckily he had the ramps and all that. So we were able to get underneath and fix it the way that you saw in the video. Um, I'm happy with the result because uh, it's gonna allow me to kick that bucket down the road and maybe decide later what I wanna do because luckily anything that I, that I had to alter had nothing to do with the actual body of the car. And getting deeper into the repair will mean that I've had to remove the front bumper and that I think is a little bit above my skill level. That is it for today. I hope you find this video useful and if you did, please hit that like button and if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. Thank you and I'll see you next time.